Hi everybody, welcome back to the PGSA Lab. Today we're looking at the Russound MBX Amp, which is a decentralized controller. We have the front and the rear of the unit, and so we're gonna go through both areas. Starting with the front, the one and the two are designated for our local favorites. So pressing and holding either one of those buttons will save a favorite for future access. To the right of that is a pause play button, so if you're listening to music, you can pause or you can recommence by hitting it again. And to the right of that are volume up and down buttons. So if this is located in a room with a, you know, in a den and so on, you can uh, manually control the volume up and down. The amber light that, you're, that you see flashing indicates that the unit is powered up, but it is not connected to the local area network. So when we look on the rear of the MBX amp, you can see that we have a cable connected back to our switch and that is providing uh, internet access for the system. The amplified output is 50 watts per zone, left and right uh, at eight ohms or 70 watts at four ohms. Some of the connections on the back of the unit. We have an audio input, so we can actually add uh, a secondary audio source to be selected through the menu of the MBX amp. Underneath the Ethernet port is a USB port, and so we can plug in a USB thumb drive with music files on it, and similar to the audio in, we can access that USB thumb drive and play music files. There's also a factory reset button on the rear of the MBX amp and uh, there are three options. So a quick momentary press will actually reboot the controller. A three second press will restore to a DHCP or dynamic IP address from a static IP address and a hold of 10 seconds will actually do a relock on the controller. So now we're uh, booting up the, uh, the switch and the switch is providing information through the local area network on the ethernet and you can see that the flashing amber has now turned green. The green indicates that the system is now functioning and connected to the local area network. All right, we've uh, programmed up our MBX amp. It's been unlocked. We've uh, updated the firmware and uh, everything's connected up and we actually have an XTS Plus touchscreen connected. When you look at the touch screen and you look at what's appearing on my phone through the app, you can see that we're listening to Kid Cudi. Everything that happens on my phone is replicated on the XTS touch screen. Volume on, volume off. I can go into the menu and I can select Beach House Radio and you can see that it immediately changes over to Beach House Radio. And we're listening to Miguel. So real simple to operate, real simple information. Looks pretty cool when, when somebody's actually activating the system through this.